Hopefully this will be a short and quick video. What I'm going to do is make sugar water for my bees. Um, they've been on sugar water almost from day one that I put the NUX in the beehives. <clears throat> and we had a cold spell hit this week that's also rainy. After the temperatures were in the about the 70s, it's now got down with highs in the, in the 50s and lows i think the other night was 27 degrees the bees are not moving they're staying in the hives they're not flying during the daytime and where they've been using two quarts of sugar water in about a week now they're going through two quarts in about two or three days um, so i noticed uh, the last time i raised the top cover off that the uh, quart jars were only about um, half full and that was two days ago so I'm assuming now they're probably about ready to have those um, refreshed again so I can do that without opening the hive up um, I basically have a deep box on top of the first deep box that has my two quart jar in it and this is basically how you make it so I'm making four quarts of sugar water and I have found that if I use um, three cups of water and three cups of sugar that ends up being four quarts so I turn the stove on to get the water up to temperature quickly right now it's empty I have a one cup measuring cup three cups of water go in three cups now you heard me running plain tap water and that's because I live in the country. We do not have country or city or treated water out here. My water comes straight out of a cistern. It goes through a filter for sediment and uh, it's a one micron filter. And so there's no chance that I've got any chemicals or chlorine in my water other than what is whatever is in the sky anyways. so. I'm basically going to heat this water up. I'm going to get a separate measuring cup, one cup measuring cup, because that one's obviously wet. And when I go to pour the sugar in there, I don't want it to stick to the measuring cup. So give me just a second to find it, because as always, I am not ready for this. <laughs> Where is my other one cup measuring cup? Okay, so you don't have to wait for the water to heat up. You're basically just going to put three cups of white granulated sugar in the water while it's heating up. I don't usually like to let it boil, so I'll actually turn the temperature down. see what's in there and then immediately start stirring with something <laughs> that I don't have on hand yet and I'm gonna hold this up here hopefully where you can see it because you stir this until it goes clear you can kind of see it's kind of like cloudy right That means that the sugar is not dissolved yet. So this is known as a one-to-one -one mixture i'm using three cups of water to three cups of sugar that is one to one ratio do 
you will notice the more I stir it the more it steams that is the water hitting the side of the pan and you can see that it's starting to go clear now maybe you can't but I can I really don't want this water to boil so I need to turn it down just a little bit. I believe that it's actually done now. Because now I think what I'm seeing is just the bubbles. So I'm going to move this off to the side. Yeah, it's definitely it's done now. Let me see if I can get this where you can see. See there, it's not cloudy anymore. It's clear. You can actually see all the way down to the bottom. So now we are ready. Let me get my jars, which I don't have ready yet. <laughs> They are sitting over there and they still need washed out, so I'll be right back. Okay, so these are my two quart canning jars. I basically have two that are on the hive now and then I've got two extra ones and I just rotate them out. Um, if the lids and bands are stuck to the jar, these are the lids, you can see I got holes poked in it, very small, tiny holes. but um, if you go to take these lids off and they're really hard to remove, turn your tap water on hot, as hot as possible, run the water over the metal band, and then they come right off. Um, you can actually see on this one, hopefully, maybe, if I get it to come into focus. Up here, camera. That brown stuff is bee propolis. You don't have to worry about removing that. I use a canning funnel. So when you're canning foods, normally you would put this on the jar, which makes a wider top that you can then add the food to the jar. So I use a canning funnel and I pour the liquid in and sometimes this can be messy. Um, you could also use a ladle, which is actually what I'm going to use here as soon as I find one. Like this one. Let me rinse this off real quick. I had actually previously been pouring it in from this pan to there, but no matter how I pour it, this has some sort of a weird edge. And because of that weird edge, it spills every time. So I'm just going to use this ladle. It's going to take longer to do it this way. Oh well. Less for me to pick up or clean up. Once you add this hot liquid to the jars, you need to let it cool several hours or overnight. So it's to room temperature before putting it on the hives. Then you basically just put the cap and the lid back on it and tighten it up. So you do the same with the second jar and that is how you make bee sugar water sugar syrup for spring feeding. Um, a beehive can starve to death in only four days if they run out of food and when the weather is cold like now where they're not flying they're spending all their time in the hives um, they need that additional sugar syrup uh, to keep them alive. 